Welcome back, Odooers. All right, so we've already covered the basic essentials of the Odoo Surveys application and how to create custom questions and sections. You've even seen how you can send out your brilliant surveys to potential participants. So you're basically a professional questionnaire at this point. But now is where the fun begins. It's only a matter of time before the answers of your creative survey start to roll in. And with this inevitable onslaught of invaluable information, you want to know how to view those unique responses so you can analyze all the feedback you're getting and use it to improve various aspects of your business moving forward. Fortunately, Odoo Surveys makes survey analysis incredibly simple. Throughout the application, there are many different ways to view, filter, and dive into survey submissions, helping you learn a ton in the most efficient way. So enough of this chit chat. Let's dive back into our database so I can show you how easy survey analysis can be with Odoo. Here we are again on our familiar surveys dashboard where you can find all the surveys you've created in your database. Now, like I mentioned in the surveys essentials tutorial, there's a lot of useful information that could be found on this dashboard. Straight away, you can see the average duration, how many participants have registered, as well as how many people that have fully completed that particular survey. You can even show off a percentage of how many people that have passed if the survey had a scoring option enabled or certified if the survey was configured to be a certification. We went over how to set both of those up in the Survey Essentials tutorial, but be sure to check that out to learn more. We'll even add a link to the lesson in the description below. Now, those statistics are all well and good, but since we're mainly focused on deeper survey analysis in this video, let's direct our attention to the See Results button here on the right for every survey line. This fairly self-explanatory button is super helpful when it comes time to dive deeper into submitted answers related to a survey. So let's click See Results for My Company Vendor Certification and see what this is all about. Clicking the See Results button takes us to an entirely different page filled to the brim with survey-specific analytics. At the top, as you can see, is Results Overview section with the results of the survey neatly organized for us. Above the detailed metrics, we even have the option to print out the results here if needed. The very top of the page in the upper right hand corner, we have two drop down menus. If we click the first one labeled all surveys, we have the option to see all the surveys, including the ones that haven't been completed yet, or we can just view the completed ones, but we'll leave it on all surveys for now. If we click on the one on the right labeled as passed and failed, we have the option to see the results from the surveys that were both passed and failed, passed only and failed only. So no matter what you're trying to find and analyze with your survey submissions, Odoo's got you covered. But we're going to leave this on past and failed and close this drop down menu. We scroll down, we start to see every question that this survey had. Let's stop at these first two questions. To the top of the right of the question, you'll see how many participants responded or skipped this question. And below that, you'll find the graphical representation of the submitted answers. You'll see a pie graph, there's only one correct answer, and you'll see a bar graph, there's multiple correct answers. Each potential answer has its own color, and the correct answers have a check mark right beside them. When you hover your cursor over the pie graph, Odoo lets you know how many people gave that answer. That same information can also be found in the Y axis of the bar graph representation. Now, besides the default graph tab, there will be a data tab. When you click on the data tab, Odoo presents the response data for that particular question in a chart-like format. Pretty snazzy, right? And if we keep scrolling down to the, do you think we have missing products in our catalog question, you'll see that answers that aren't scored, mandatory, or have specific answers, which means they're open-ended, opinionated questions. The results are shown in a verbal format as they were entered by the participants. And if we keep scrolling down even further, the policy section, and stop on these first two questions, we'll find questions that do have the correct answer that the participants entered themselves without any answer options to choose from. And you'll find those submitted answers depicted in the most common tab instead of a graph. But to the top right of those responses, in the numerical value option, you'll find maximum, minimum, and average, just like so. And if we're looking at a specific date or date time, those responses are represented like this. Great. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we properly analyze answers on the See Results page. Pretty cool, right? So let's jump back to our surveys dashboard real quick for a few other elements that I want to show you.
All right, from here, let's open up a survey real quick. How about we take a closer look at the My Company Vendor Certification? On this survey form, once participants have taken the survey, you'll notice a participation smart button at the top. And here, since this survey is a certification, you'll also see a certified button. That certified smart button does not typically appear on a typical survey. So if you don't see it up there on your survey form, that's why. So if we click on the participation smart button, we're taken to a different page where Odoo shows us all the people that have participated in this survey so far. Here, we can see when they took it, what survey they participated in, their contact information, their email, how many attempts they've done, if they have a particular deadline to complete the survey, if they pass, their score, and the status. I know, that's a lot of information for one page, right? And if we click on any of these participant lines, for example, Deco Addict, we can see the complete breakdown of how they answered this survey. And we can also see this green banner here letting us know that Doug from Deco Addict passed this survey. Nicely done, Doug. If he would have failed, we'd see a red banner with the words failed. But Doug's a smart cookie, he's been studying. So if we navigate back to our survey by the breadcrumbs here and click the certified smart button, we're taken to a similar looking page showing us the participants who have met the required score percentage for this certification. And they have also earned themselves the prestigious title of certified. Not too shabby, right? Well. Now, if you wanna get a bird's eye view of all the participants for all of your surveys, then you're gonna to wanna to tick the participations button here at the header menu. Doing so takes you to the participations page where the surveys that participants are found are nested in. Besides each survey name, we're also gonna see the number and the parentheticals. That number is the particular number of people that have taken that survey. If we click on one of these listed surveys, like let's say vendor certification once again, we'll see the same detailed information for all the participants on this page. This page can also be viewed in a Kanban format as well, which we can access by clicking the Kanban icon. Doing so breaks down the surveys in columns showing the participants' attempts along with when they took the survey and the status their current survey is in, be it completed, in progress, or not started yet. And that's it, Odooers. That's how you can properly analyze any and all surveys in Odoo in just a matter of moments. Stay tuned to learn even more about this awesome survey application, but until then, adios, Odooers.